Welcome back to the Scottabyte channel and this is Scott. So if you watch the channel very frequently, you know that I cover LexD containers quite a bit. And I also have some videos on LexD virtual machines. And so today we're going to do a little bit of a comparison between a LexD virtual machine and a virtual box virtual machine. So I entitled this Virtual Machines versus LexD VMs. And virtual machines virtualize both the hardware and the operating system. And that's why they tend to be a little bit slower and more bulky than LexD containers, which share the kernel of the host machine. So from this perspective, both VMs and LexD VMs are really pretty much the same the difference is that LexDVMs offer a few additional configuration features in virtue of the API and the CLI. So LexD containers and LexDVMs are both created from images rather than a manual installation process. LexD containers and LexDVMs can also create images at any point in their life cycle, which then can be used to create other containers. And creating LexD images or creating LexD instances from images enhances configuration control. So first here, we're going to go off and create a VirtualBox VM of Ubuntu 22.04 desktop. So one of the key points here is that this installation is taking place with an Ubuntu 22.04 desktop and it's being installed from an ISO file. So when you do an ISO file installation, of course you go through a standard installation like you would on any hardware machine when you create a virtual machine in VirtualBox. It's sped up a little bit more because what I'm using here is I'm using the pre-scripted install option that they have in VirtualBox. And also I've improved or upgraded the speed by uh, 8x here because we didn't want to sit around for this to uh, perform the uh, installation. So what we have here is an Ubuntu 2204 desktop, as I said. We're giving it four gigs of memory, and we have uh, four virtual CPUs and uh, 25 gigabytes of uh, disk partition is what we're setting up. So this is just about done here. Um, do a little bit of a fast forward and jump through it somewhat, and uh, we'll see what happens in a second it should get ready to reboot and when it reboots we'll go ahead and log into this here's the reboot process going on right now and here we're logging in so here we are at the ubuntu 2204 desktop this is a virtual machine and this virtual machine was installed in virtualbox Okay, now let's install an Ubuntu LexD virtual machine. And the big difference here is this time it brings down an image from the LexD repository. So the command is LexC launch images Ubuntu slash 22.04, the desktop version. Again, we're going to call this test Ubuntu. The dash dash VM means it's a VM and then dash dash profile default and dash dash profile is bridge profile, which allows it to have an address out on the main LAN as we've covered on the channel several times before. And then we have limits dot memory is four gigs of memory, just like we did in the virtual box version. And then limits dot CPU equals four virtual CPUs boot.autostart is true and console equals VGA. So let's go ahead and start the timer here and we'll go ahead and hit enter. So it's creating the test Ubuntu image. It's going ahead and starting it up. We'll go ahead and view full screen. It's booting from the image. 
And it is completely booted now. We go through next, 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 and done in 30 seconds. So in summary, in this presentation, we showed how LexDVMs are created from images. LexDVMs are faster to deploy and provide built-in tools for imaging, snapshots, and backups. And LexDVMs created from images provide better configuration control than VMs created from installing an OS from an ISO. As you could see, when we did the ISO install, it might perform the install and choose different options. And the ISO install overall is, of course, quite a bit slower. So consider that your use cases for LexD containers versus LexD virtual machines, and you want to choose the right choice for the job. But in any case, I think you've seen through this video that the installation of a LexD VM is much quicker and much better for rapid prototyping. Anyway, that's it for today. Please subscribe and like to the channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell and we'll see you next time.